Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome to Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram Love. Yeah, we're expanding. How exciting. See? The contrast, just uh, the technical issues with Facebook just made me blow up, baby. Oh, there ain't no stopping the love a bomber. <laughs> and today I am, well, before I start, I want to say thank you to Erling for my, for being my new musical accompaniment. Mm, wait till you hear, that's a little later on. But today I am love bombing, bombing, B-A-L-M, Janet Corn cats, woohoo! Janet Corn cats, oh my goodness. So in my heart, I love you so much, Janet. Ah, <sighs> really a soul sister. You know, we don't communicate a lot, and you know, she lives in Vancouver. It gets weird with long distancey stuff. You know, people, even through social media sometimes, you go on with your lives, but Janet is a powerhouse. Gorgeous, beautiful, looking inside and out woman who I had the pleasure of meeting in Vancouver, really around my show, my first solo show about my family, which was called The Walton Steins, <laughs> because I happen to be a child of two Jewish Holocaust survivors. I was raised Catholic, and Janet really celebrated Pride and Identity, my journey. She's a very, very gifted artist who now is also working as an artist and designer for many, many years, together with her beautiful, wonderful husband, Michael, who's an architect. And what Janet did for me is, oh, I mean, I don't know where to start. You know, my my show was getting booked all around and she was so excited about it and Arthur Hiller, the legendary film director, had come on board and Janet was like so behind it and you like in a blink of an eyelash, you know, just made a few phone calls, raised a crap load of money and all of a sudden I was performing in Winnipeg, you know. You know, you, I get to meet your beautiful, beautiful mother, Irene, and your family. And I, I could go on and on. All I can say is this woman has, you know, <laughs> Sechel. She's so smart. She has such soul. I love you. I so appreciate and miss you, Janet. And, you know, and by the way, thank you, folks. I can see people out there. Ooh, I love you all. I appreciate you. I, this is a privilege for me, you know, spreading love. Yeah, when I say I love Janet, some people are like, how can you love people? You don't know them that well. Even people that I don't know, I feel love. If I breathe into my heart and just think, oh boy, I love the fact that they're human, that they're walking down the street and smiling or even not smiling. Let's send them love, you know, because when people say, don't you know, I told you I love you. That's not love. It's not about the words, I love you. It's So breathe into your hearts. Take a moment to refuel yourselves, people, with just like really positive. This changes the toxicity in your body into health. You want to up your immunity? This is how to do it. So just love yourself. Take a breath. Think, who do I love? Just for one minute. And why? Or who loves me? You know, or who do I freaking appreciate? You know, do I love going... Who do I appreciate with my, can you imagine if you couldn't go, who do I appreciate? That would suck. And on that note, let's put it into our body so we can really feel it, really shake. I don't care if you're, you know, at work, at your desk, or, you know, if you happen to be lying in a hospital bed, I've been there. You know, see if you can just groove with your nostrils. <laughs> It'll make you feel better. Because we're going to do a little something that I call the bye-bye Corona Cha-Cha. say thank you so much for watching this is a privilege and I wore my espadrilles for Janet because she's the coolest for her wedding she was one of the first people to wear a beautiful white gown and sneakers you know 
what Canadians, by the way, happy Canadian Thanksgiving. I'm, you know, Canadian and American dual citizenship. Mwah, to mow my Canuckies. So for Janet, I wore my version of espadrilles. Espadrille. Ta-da. My funkies. Love you all. <sighs> Spread only love. Mm, such a privilege. Love you, Janet.